Hey guys, this is Mr. Random Keeper, and I'm going to be showing you guys something very useful for when you're drawing Photoshop pictures. Cue the intro, man! Cue it. Cue the intro. Okay. What I'm going to do now, I created a new image, and I'm just going to draw something. Draw stick figure thingy. Yay! Uh -huh. Yeah, just a random stick figure. <gasps> oh no! I drew it on the background layer! <gasps> no, what am I going to do? I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, this is our tutorial. We're gonna... I'm gonna teach you how to separate the black and the white from like a layer or something that you made. Uh, you could use this for when you messed up like me. Yay, happy face. Or when you... Like you're doing collaborations or something. They send you the ink picture and you have to color. So, yeah. So... Let me draw some more stuff, some complicated things to show you that this really works, no matter how complicated it is. It has to be black and white, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, okay, we have our thingy here. We have to click, right click on the layer name, put duplicate layer, click OK. Next, on the top one you made, the copy, you right click on the layer picture and click blending options. And you, at the top here, the first thing you see is blend mode. It's on normal. You put it on darken. So, and then your problem solved. Then you put the layers in between both of them. So, you just cut it. For example, this. It just shows random skin tone right there. And you just draw like normal. Have to be worrying about anything. Not. See, you, it uh, appears under like normal. So I'm just gonna keep drawing here to show you guys. Let me get the brown again. I think I choose. I chose it. Brush size is too big. And okay. So, and if I want a new layer, oops, too much. Too many layers. Uh, for example, I want to color the sky or something. Oops, no, no, no. Layer under. Under, under, under. No. Yes. There. Like this. I can just color the skies. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, yeah. All you gotta do is, when you have that problem, copy the layer, mm, duplicate the layer, uh, right click on the layer image, click blending options, and at the top of the blending options, change it from normal to dark. So, yep. Hope this little tutorial helped, and hope you use it in the future. That means you, Tim. And all of other people who use Photoshop. Thank you for watching.